Okay, so I am back to um, finish up this vanity that I've been working on and um, I am sealing it in clear wax. I am using Dixie Bell's clear wax to put all over it. I put a little bit on it right here um, and I was trying to decide if I wanted to add a little bit of dark wax. Um, I tried a little bit of green over here where I just put some green in my paint and put that on it, but I'm not a huge fan of that. Um, and I like the overall pastel color of it, so I like that it has lighter greens and white in it. Um, I did distress it a little bit just around the edges because um, the drawers will hit, and if I don't distress it, it's going to distress itself and look like a flaw, of course. So um, anytime you have issues with that, just go ahead and distress it lightly, and that way it looks good and it goes well. Um, and then I put a little bit of black wax right here on this corner, which I like, um, but I don't want too much on it because I don't want it to darken the overall look. So I think what I'm gonna do, since I have areas that are darker, like up here, um, from the darker green palmetto paint, and then I have other areas that are the more light um, pastel green, and then I have other areas where I dry brushed my sawmill gravy over it. So I have white on it as well. I think what I'm gonna do since I have all those different colors is just add a little bit of wax wherever I decide to. Um, I may put a little bit of the green, but probably not. I'm gonna wax the whole thing in clear. I've got most of this done in clear. And then I'm just gonna come in and fill in wherever I want with my black wax, um, just to kind of highlight it a little bit and give it a little more dimension. I like to use my two inch palm brush from Wise Owl that you see here for applying wax. You can find this brush on our website at rehabtofabdesigns.com. When applying dark or black wax to highlight details, I like to apply it with a chip brush as this helps to get it in all those little nooks and crannies. If you apply dark wax and you don't like the look because it's too dark or you just have too much on, you can go back over it with your clear wax and it's used as an eraser to remove some of the dark wax. Use a soft, lint-free cloth, like an old t-shirt, to buff the wax and remove any excess if needed. Here's a walk around look at my vanity once I've finished it. It's very bohemian in style because of all the layers, textures, colors, and patterns you see here. I use woodjamin moldings to dress up the vanity as it was rather simple originally. You can't even tell where the tissue paper starts and stops because of all the use of layers of paint and texture that I applied. New hardware from Hobby Lobby completed the look. The top was sanded down to bare wood and then stained and given a wash to change the look completely. That's it guys, I hope you love this piece as much as I do. Please be sure and hit the like button and follow along in our refinishing journey by hitting the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel. Thanks.